Hi, welcome to our first day of Bible school. My name is Missy and all week long, I'm going to be teaching you some lessons, um, a snack and games. I am so excited that you're here with us today. So if this is your first time ever doing a Bible school with Spring Creek Church, welcome. And if you are back, I wish I could see you in person and give you a great big hug. Soon we'll be able to do that. So this week, every day, I'm gonna have a lesson for you, just a quick short lesson. And our stories this week are gonna be about a guy named Paul. So we're gonna find out how God changed Paul quickly and also the things that um, Paul was able to do once he was changed by God. Um, this week, we're gonna have a snack every day and then we're going to have a game. So I'm just so excited that you're here with us today. So today our story is about Paul and I need to tell you a little bit about him. He was kind of a bully. He wasn't very nice at all at first. He would like hurt people if they said that they believed in Jesus and that's not very nice. And he didn't believe what they were saying. Well, one day he was walking down the street here. This street that was going to the city called Damascus. So sometimes you might hear people say about Paul and the road to Damascus. Well, it's just a city. So he was on his way there and all of a sudden there was this really bright light and he was like, whoa, what is that light? And he falls to the ground and he hears this loud voice that says, why are you trying to hurt me? And he was like, whoa, who is that? And this voice said, I am Jesus. I am the one that you are trying to hurt. He said, now go into Damascus and there will be people there that tell you what to do. Well, Paul's like, what? So he's just like, stands up. Well, all of a sudden he's blind. He can't see. So blind means that you're not able to see at all. So he was like absolutely fine two seconds ago. And now all of a sudden he can't see. And he's like, what is going on? This must be something big. So his two friends take him into Damascus. And so for three days, he's just prayed, he didn't eat, and he just kind of was like, what is going on? And after the three days, he realized this Jesus guy is a big deal. He's the real thing. And if he's someone that you follow and you do, ex you do the things that he does, you're gonna be able to tell other people about Jesus and help bring them into his heavenly kingdom. So Paul was changed, boom, just like that. And that's our key point today, is that God can change you in an instant. Even if before you did things that were wrong, like maybe you don't listen to mom and dad like you're supposed to, or maybe you say things that aren't the kindest, or maybe um, you just do things maybe that aren't nice. God can change you in an instant, in any instant. So I wanna show you what that's like. So we're gonna pretend that this is sin. Sin is like when we do things that aren't right. Like we all sin, everyone, me too, everyone does. You might say things that aren't very nice. Sometimes you might overreact about something. You might not listen to mom and dad. You might um, just do things that really aren't the kindest and you don't mean to be mean. None of us want to be mean, but we all mess up. And so these are our mess ups, we call them sins. Well, there's one perfect person in the world, and that was Jesus. Jesus never messed up. He never sinned. He never did things he wasn't supposed to. When his mom and dad told him to do things, boom, he was on it, okay? So this is Jesus. You see how clear this is and how not clear this is. So let's just move this so that you can see this a little bit better. So when we take Jesus and we add Jesus to our lives, we try to be like him, we try to act like him, we try to talk like him, we try to share about how wonderful it is. I want you to see what happens to our lives, okay? So let's pour Jesus into our life. What do you notice is happening? Do you see how it's going away? how it's not like it used to be, that those things are coming out. Now we're all gonna have times that we mess up. That's why it's still a little bit blue. We're gonna have times that we mess up. But when we add Jesus to our life, we can take those mess outs out if we keep following how he wants us to be. You see how it's turning clear? Because we pour Jesus into our life and God can change us. Jesus can change us in an instant. So that's what our story is about today, that when we do kind things, when we talk the kind ways, when we follow mom and dad, God can change us in an instant. We just have to let, us into, let him into our hearts. So in a few seconds, we're going to do our snack and then we're gonna learn about our game. I'm so excited you're here with us today. Let's say a prayer before we go, okay? So you can fold your hands together, you can close your eyes and bow your head. 
Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for our friend that is listening with us today. Thank you for all the blessings. You are awesome and amazing. And God, please help us to open our hearts to you so that you can change us in an instant to be more like you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you soon for our snack. Hi, so we're ready to start our snack for today. So earlier in our lesson, we learned about change and changing things and how Paul was changed. So today we're gonna to take some simple ingredients, some oats, some peanut butter, some M&Ms, and some honey, and we're going to change them from four separate things into one no-bake cookie ball. So I have Kyle, come on over here, Kai. And he's gonna help us today. So he's wearing gloves simply because he's allergic to peanut butter. So he can't touch them, but he wanted to help. So this is how we're going to do it. I need you to find your Monday bag. And I'm gonna go over what you need and then you can pause it in case you're missing something. So you need your oats, your bag of oats. You need your peanut butter. You need your M&Ms. You need all three packets of honey. You're gonna need all of those today. The other thing that you could get is some vanilla. I did not include that. Many people have that already. I didn't include that. So if you have that, you could grab that and also a teaspoon. So if you're looking at it, it's the one that says TSP on it usually, or it says the whole word teaspoon. You also need something to put your ball, the no bake cookie balls on and a pair of scissors. You need a bowl and something to start with. So while you get all that stuff together, just pause this real quick grab all of your stuff and then we'll be ready to start. All right, so here we go, Kai. So in here you have a cup of oats. So open up your bag and pour it all into that bowl. All right, pour that whole thing in there. All right, you can just put that to the side. So the next thing you're gonna need is your peanut butter. So you need to take those scissors and you're gonna just cut off the corner. So just take your scissors, it doesn't need to be a big hole, just cut the corner. And then once you've done that, you're gonna run your fingers along the sides and you're gonna push it all down to the corner so you can put all of your peanut butter in here. Try to get out as much as you can. Do you want me to do this part since it's the peanut butter? Okay, so I'm gonna do this part. Push it all in there. It likes to kind of scooch around. So push it all in there. Keep pushing it till it's all in there. And then you can just take your fingers and you just kind of like pinch it and keep pushing it down. The more peanut butter you have, the better it's gonna taste. So just push it all in there. Squeeze it till it's all out. Alrighty, and you can put that one to the side. So the next thing that you're going to need is you're gonna need your honey packets, all three. And if you do the same kind of thing, like run your finger over the top, it kind of gives you a place there that you'll be able to cut it. So I'm gonna cut the top off, and while I cut the top off, Kyle, you can go ahead and you can pour that in. And you wanna do the same thing like you did with the peanut butter, where you run your fingers over it. So put one packet in, and we're gonna put the second packet in. If I'm going too fast, you can just pause this along the way. Ooh, you got all over your gloves. All right, do the next, what, should I do the next one or are you good? I'm good. You got it? All right, squeeze yeah. that one in. It doesn't matter. You're gonna get a little sticky. It's honey, honey's just sticky stuff. Squeeze it, it down again. Sweet. It's very sweet, you're right, Kai. Mm. All right, squeeze that in there and let's do one more. And then I think maybe we'll throw those gloves out. Okay, why don't you go throw your gloves away a while? All right, so squeeze that honey down in there. This is looking pretty good so far. I don't know about yours. Mine's looking pretty good. The next thing you can put in is your vanilla. So if you're going to use this, then you just need one teaspoon. If you're not gonna use it, then just kind of watch me. You don't even need to worry about this part. Just pour it in there. It just gives it a little bit more flavor. And then the last thing you need, Kyle's grabbing another pair of gloves, is you're gonna take all of your M&Ms and you're gonna put all of, whoops, all of your M&Ms in here. All right. So now we have all of our ingredients in. So while Kyle's putting on that glove, we're just gonna start to stir. And the easiest way is to kind of like pick up your oats and kind of put it on top so it starts to get a little sticky, okay? And then you can just kind of stir it around. Kyle, you wanna do that? So you're gonna stir it around till it's all mixed together. Can you see the change that's starting to happen? 
It's no longer five different ingredients. It's all becoming one. All right, how's it going? Keep stirring. And it's okay if you make a mess, you just have to remember to clean it up. All right, do you want a little bit of help there? No. You getting okay. it? Yep. If you want to, once it starts to get mixed up, you can actually just do it with your hands too. Just make sure your hands are clean. Oh, well, you're gonna be the one eating it, so I guess it doesn't really matter. But try to get those hands clean. So let's see what we can do here, Kai. So if we take our hands now, we'll just kind of wipe this off. And then we can take our hands and we can finish mushing it together. So as you mush it together, let me come over on this side of the counter so you can see. You see how it's starting to become like a dough? Like it's kind of all working its way together. So once you have it all together, get this mush together pick it up and move it around. Oh, this is looking so yummy. So then just pick off a little bit and you're just gonna squeeze it and you can make it into a ball, just like that. Then you can put that on your plate. You can pick up another piece. Oh, Kyle's cleaning up already. You can pick up another piece, just squeeze it into a ball and you can put it on there. And you're just gonna go ahead and continue making balls until you run out and then you can eat some because, well, that's what we have to do with a snack. But also you can put them in your refrigerator and you can keep them. It says you can hold them for up to two weeks. I don't think ours are going to last in the refrigerator for two weeks. You know, Kyle's not going to eat any of these, but the rest of us will. So once you have them all made, then your snack is done. So I hope you enjoy taking those ingredients and changing them into something new. When you're finished with your snack, then you can press play again and you're going to find out how to play your game. Alrighty, see you in a little bit. Can you go press pause? Alrighty, welcome to our Monday game. So you had your lesson, you had your snack, and now you're ready for your game. So for today's game, you're going to need your hula hoop, you're going to need your frisbee, and you're going to need your paper to keep score. So what we're going to do today is we're going to play a version of frisbee golf. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your hula hoop and you're going to toss it, and then you're going to see how many times does it take you to get your frisbee in. So you'll toss toss your frisbee one time you'll go stand there and then try it again and see how many times it takes to get inside there so we're gonna have Kyle show us how to play okay Kyle's gonna go ahead and throw that hula hoop all right and now his job is going to be to take that frisbee and see how close he can get to that hula hoop go ahead Kai Ooh, so close so now he's gonna stand right there and he's gonna try to get it in again Good, so on his score sheet now, don't touch anything yet, Kai, he's gonna write down a two. So now from there, he's gonna take his hula hoop and he's gonna toss it again. And he's gonna pick up that Frisbee and he's gonna try to make it in again. Go ahead, Kai. Oh, not quite. So now he's gonna throw it again. Oh, one more try. Let's see if he can get it. Very good, so he's gonna write down three. So you can play as many or as few rounds as you want to. If you have a friend that you can play together, you can see who has the lowest score. All right, have fun playing your game.